In this video, we're going to deploy a Llama 3.2 that is quantized using VLLM. And I'm sure many people are, who are watching my videos probably are coming here from my fine tuning, Ansel of fine tuning videos. And this video is probably appropriate for you. Now, we're going to deploy quantized Llama 3.2, 1 billion using RomPod with VLLMs. Now, why am I choosing RomPod and VLLM? Is because it is easy to deploy, is easy to scale, is very, very cheap or cheaper then let's say a SageMaker instance, you can do quantized or deploy quantized models and fast inferences because it's already quantized. Not to mention, SageMaker is actually slightly more expensive than VLMs or RomPod, and it doesn't actually support quantization as far as I know. Now, if you guys are not familiar with VLMs or quantization, I've made videos on both of these before. VLM is a package that you can use to serve LLMs, make endpoint calls, and Quantization is just a way to convert the model's weights to make it lighter and faster. Now, I've made a video about quantization and different ways of quantizing a Llama 3.1 model, or you can also quantize a Llama 3.2 model as well. And by far, GPTQ is one of the more popular ones because it not only reduces the size of the original model, but also maintains high levels of accuracy, which makes a perfect candidate for our deployment. And if you guys are wondering how much GP memory do we actually need for the quantized model, According to my calculations, you should be needing around 0.6 gigabytes of memory or around 600 megabytes of video RAM memory. So it should be very, very cheap to deploy. Now we will be using this specific model. This is a Llama 3.2 Instruct GPTQ quantized version. Now let's get on with it. So the first thing you will do, you guys, you guys need a account in RunPod. This is an infrastructure as service platform where you can deploy any models of your choice. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, once you guys have signed up for RunPod, we are going to be using this specific model. This is a Llama 3.2, 1 billion instruct. So in the main home page, you'll be presented with a dashboard like this. And then there will be a quick deploy button called serverless VLM. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to copy this command. We're going to paste it over here. And we have to pass in our hug and face token, which you can find in the settings. And we go next, next, and then you can choose a GPU of your choice. Over here, I'm going to be choosing a 16 gigabyte of GPU because to deploy a 1 billion 4-bit quantized model, you probably need around like 1 gigabyte of GPU RAM, if I'm not wrong. So this should be more than enough. We're going to pass in the name over here, and then we just click on deploy. So all we have to do over here is just wait. Now, I want to quickly show you guys what other things you guys can do over here. And while you're deploying, you'll be presented with a menu like this. You can have different LLM settings. You can pass in the format you want to load in and other configurations that you want to have. You can pass in a different tokenizer if you guys really want to. You can configure the different system settings, streaming settings, OpenAI settings, because you can use an OpenAI package to make inferences on, which we are going to do. And then some other serverless settings over here. Now again, we're gonna keep it default for our deployment because we don't need to do anything. It will automatically detect all the different settings it needs for perfect deployment. So our quantized model has finally been deployed over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this OpenAI URL and then paste it into our inference environment. And over here, I've prepared a Google Colab notebook where I have different code on how to use an OpenAI package and then pass in our VLLM based deployment for our Llama 3.2. So. By the way, I am going to provide this collab in the description. You can just request it. And then we're going to pass in the URL, which is the URL we got from here. You will need an API key. This can be found on the settings over here, and you can find it. We can run this thing, install OpenAI, of course. And then we're going to pass in the API key and the URL in the OpenAI client. We're going to get the different client models and then pass it onto a model name over here. I, I really made this automated, so you guys don't need to make a lot of adjustments and configurations and make this really, really quick. Now, as we can see, it detected that our model is a Llama 3.2, the GPTQ model that we deployed. By the way, I just want to quickly mention that in the description, there is a link for AI consulting. This is a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me where you get to book a call discussing your personal projects, or if you're a company trying to build a proof of concept, you can just grab a time over here and we can talk about it. I can help with ideation and planning, feasibility assessment, and at the end of the call, we can get a report detailing the different steps you could potentially take to improve or make your system. So please free to check it out. And then you can pass in the model name over here, pass in the prompt. So RomPod is the best platform because... Now, by the way, I am not sponsored by RomPod. I just really like what they're doing. 
and then pass in temperature max token and we can just print it and there you go now it actually provides some sort of response we can also ask why is lebron james the best let's see what the model says it says why is lebron james the best basketball player of all time lebron james is widely regarded blah 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 okay there you go so it's doing a pretty good job at making inferences using the open ai package all right guys there's a quick video on how to deploy quantized model using vllms on a runpod instance i hope you guys found this video insightful if you guys did please feel free to subscribe and make similar videos like these all right guys i hope to see you in my next video have a nice day